Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I am going to tell you all about my rainbow colours. Now, um, when I saw this, um, you know, sort of picture of the rainbow colours and I thought, oh, I'm going to do a whole month's projects on rain with rainbow colours, um, I found it quite hard to find them all. So I thought if I do a video on the colours, then in all the next videos... Um, I will be saying this colour and this colour, but this is the main video if you want to find out which are the exact rainbow colours that I am using. Obviously, there might be different ones. Um, there might be less bright, brighter, or whatever, but I think these are a nice set of um, rainbow colours. So, I have a cotton set and an acrylic set, so let's talk about the cotton one first. But before we actually talk about that... Do you know how to remember the rainbow colours? See, there is a little saying and I immediately, when I, um, you know, when I saw that picture, I was like, right, okay, let's write it down and let's sort it out which colours I'm going to find. So the, the sentence is, Richard of York gave battle in vain. So, let me explain. So, Richard stands for red and I have here a nice red cotton soft so cotton soft by King Cole you know this is the the brand that I really like using so of course immediately I went for this one and I went to the you know to the different colors that they had and I was so pleased I could find all of them so yeah so this uh, is red um, for the rainbow but of course it is called cherry and it's number 719 and it is the 100% cotton from the King Cole cotton soft so that's Richard red okay of stands for orange and this is the King Cole orange um, 3030 so it is called orange and I thought it would be the good orange for the rainbow so there we go so that's the orange so that made it easy so we've got Richard of and then we have York and that's this color here now when I wanted to order that it was out of stock but then I remembered I had it already <laughs> in my stock <laughs> um, and of course there was quite a bit left so that was fine so this is the king cole buttercup and the number is 1600 so this again um you might think it's a little bit paler than you might what what you might expect but that was the only yellow that i could find that would be suitable okay so richard let me just put them in richard of york okay then we go to the gave which is green okay so in the cotton soft this is quite um a bright green which i wanted it to be bright and this is called the lime and it's 1601 so i really um yeah i think it goes well with the colors it's not, not one i would normally i think i used that for my kath kidston as well no i think so yes so anyway so yeah so that's the Richard of York gave green. Then we go to battle, which is blue. So here we have King Cole's Cotton Soft, the cloud blue. So cloud it's called. And it's 1575, the color. And um, I have used this before. I really like it. It's a nice blue color. So yeah, that's that one. So that's Richard of York gave battle and then we go to in and in stands for indigo and i think indigo is a blue um and i wanted a light blue and a dark blue so we have here french navy let me get the card french navy 741 and this is quite a nice dark blue so once again that goes well with our rainbow so we have indigo and then of course in vain because he fights in vain and we have here the lavender king cole 1849 so that's how i remember my um rainbow colors can i get them all in the picture <laughs> 
Um, and these are the cotton ones, which I am going to be using for, like, for example, coasters or a drawstring bag, something that doesn't stretch or mustn't stretch. Um, and that is useful for, uh, for, for us to use. So there we go. So that's the cotton ones. Let me just put those to the side. And then I have here my yarn pegs and I had a great time uh, sorting them out and going into my uh, box of yarn pegs and getting them out. So this is um, the red one, so lipstick 1246. So these are all special DK acrylic balls. So this is the red one. Then here we have the orange or in the color it's called Spice and it's 1711. And I quite like this. It's less bright than this one, see, but it's it's okay, yeah. Then we have the yellow, the York of Citron, and it's 12.63, this one. Then we have a nice bright green, which is called Grass Green, and it's 18.21. So that goes in between there. Then we have Richard of York, Gave, Battle, Blue, Aster, 1003, um, a nice blue. I like this Aster blue, I really do. Then we have the dark blue or the indigo, Lobelia, 1825. Again, nicely in between those colours. And then there was a choice of lots of purples <laughs> um, in uh, for the vein, for the violet, and which one better to choose than the actual violet one? I mean, honestly. <laughs> so that's number 1277. So um, I, I, I've used some of the balls, so that's why I've just got them here, because otherwise they, you know, they're already... Uh, <laughs> been used um so yeah i quite like this rainbow selection and then we have here these ones to go with that they are not exactly the same colors um from the cotton to the acrylic but obviously you know they are different brands so um i don't know whether you can actually ever do that uh, maybe if the same brand does uh, cotton and acrylic you might be able to uh, pair them up um, this way so yes I think they are they match well enough um, not obviously that I'm going to be using them together because that doesn't sort of seem to work putting acrylic and cotton together um, in a project you know I keep them separate but there's certain things that you you know for, for certain things you use acrylic better than for others so those are the colours that I um, decided upon. I ordered them and I now have them sort of ready. Um, and yeah, so we are going to go and do lots of rainbow coloured projects. I am really looking forward to this, but I thought this would be a good video um, just so that you know exactly which colors because sometimes i do sort of say oh yeah let's get the violet or let's get this and i forget to mention the number or whatever um this will give you a good video to um work out which colors you could possibly order if you wanted to do the same projects so thank you for watching and i hope uh, this was helpful and there is also um a list of the ones that I'm using here in the description bar below so do go and have a look at that thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye